Hello everyone, my name is John Gaius Diaz. Welcome to a new Marvel Spoiler Talk series. Of course, this is on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And today I'm with my co-host, Will. How are you doing? Hey, Andres. I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Good. Doing pretty good. And, um, well, I would say this was, um, well, first off, were you excited to see this show um, when it was first announced? Um, I mean, it wasn't at, like, the top of my list. Like, I think WandaVision was the Marvel property that I was, like, most excited for. Um, yes, right, but, right. You know, I like these characters, and I, you know, uh, it's nice to, like, get a, a deeper dive into them, because I think there's there's interesting stuff to do there, especially with Bucky. Yes, I agree. Um, I, I completely agree with you. Uh, WandaVision was my number one uh it's a show uh, after uh, it was first and then second is was Loki and then the third could be Miss Marvel and then fourth was this one. <laughs> mm. And uh, I will say I this was a good uh, season premiere. This was very good. I was very impressed how yeah I enjoyed it. Yeah, like how serious it was, how action packed it was, and and then it provided some more information on what happened after Endgame, which was good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, so let's kind of get, um, like, overall, what do you think about this pilot? Um, hold on, let me get the pilot's name, because I know they do these. Uh, I think it was called uh, mm -hmm. New World Order. Mm -hmm. uh, was, yeah, um, I thought it was, uh, really interesting, um, great action scenes, which is um, good because we've kind of come to expect that from um, both of these characters, thanks to the Captain America movies. Yes. Um, yeah, I like that. I think the TV shows are really good because they they give the characters more time to breathe. So it was nice to see like Falcon's backstory a little bit. We didn't get too much of that. Yeah. Uh, in the movies, um, it was nice to see Bucky actually <laughs> dealing with his trauma. Finally. Um, yeah, because a lot of times it feels like he's just kind of like a weapon that you would point at something. Um, <laughs> it's nice to actually give him some like depth. Yeah, uh, I agreed. And same thing for uh, Wilson, uh, for Sam as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, it was very important to see it. Um, more background about him so it was very cool to see his sister and and really see like it, this episode did a really good job of showing the different sides of sam wilson and um, bucky mm -hmm. uh completely and then it was it was very cool and they did a good job of homaging their complex history or their appearance in the mcu because the the moment when you know bucky um stopped the fight <laughs> in the alley like it was a way away, it was homaging his uh, protection from Steve in the first Avengers film, where mm -hmm. he, when you know uh, Steve was getting bullied by that, you know, uh, uh, was it the, the uh, guy at the movie theater? Exactly. Yeah. And 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 that was really great, uh, like homaging that, and and but it's, it's, it's in Brooklyn, New York, which I was happy we, we he's in Brooklyn, New York, and so that was really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then just um, uh, just uh, for me, I, I was very surprised about just amping up the comic book stuff. Like Andy Moore knew um, comic book source material, you know, like the Flag Smashers, uh, U.S. Agent, and so I'm really excited. And also uh, War Machine, of course, mm -hmm. he has a cameo here. Um, uh, Oh my god, I'm forgetting his name now. Uh, um, um, War Machine. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I forget his name. I love Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, Rhodey uh, being here, which I, I that that's good because it, it will set up probably uh, Armor Wars, his show that's mm -hmm. coming a little later uh, later on. So that's very cool. So yeah, this episode yeah. did a really good job. Yeah. I also, I, I also think it's nice to have Rhodey there um, because he's also kind of dealing with the, the legacy of his best friend 
like um because <gasps> tony stark died and Rhodey's like the one left with a suit so yes. it's like a nice parallel um with sam's story and he's trying to be there to like mentor sam because he's younger trying to tell him that like it, it is okay yeah. to be captain america yeah like, i yeah yeah no 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 i agree i um yeah i well let, let's talk about sam wilson like it was interesting he didn't took up the the captain america uh, mantle but like like I, I couldn't understand why he was doing that you know like he you know he didn't like i i was frustrated with him but at the same time it's like you know like i, I can understand why he didn't took it up yeah. you know yeah like i get um not wanting to feel like you're um like taking something that steve like built and steve like personified um and making it your own but also like yeah i was frustrated with him too like you're the obvious choice steve literally like gave it to you <laughs> like but it's, I, I think it was a good like character decision from like a writing perspective to have him give it up, I think it's it's gonna create a very interesting story. Yeah, um, yeah, and and also like um, in uh, the Smithsonian, there's a um, a poster like there's a collage of posters of Captain America, mm -hmm. and there's one uh, that you see, "I want you," and it and it, you know it's it's just you know a poster saying, "I want you to join the army," right? But like right, yeah. It, but it's a symbolic putting at Sam. No, I want you to be the next Captain America. Mm -hmm. And I love that small detail of just showing that, yeah, you are the next Captain America. And so I'm very interested now to see where Wilson is going to go after, you know, the reveal of the U.S. agent. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah. And, and it was a good point you mentioned Rhodey. Uh, and I never thought about that. Yeah, like, you know, Rhodey is, you know, the psychic of Iron Man, uh, the partner, you know. Right. Yeah, and um, and then Sam, of course, was, you know, in the comics, he was like the first, well, he was the first new partner for Captain America when he came out of the ice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, after his um, his battle with Simo in the comics in World War II, right? And so it's very interesting. Um, yeah, I never, I never thought about that, Pelio. That was good you pointed out, Will. So, um, and um, yeah, and, and, and then in transitioning to, you know, I think right after the Smithsonian, we got a quick flashback of this, like, um, I, I think my favorite thing about this, uh, this pilot, the, the New World Order was uh, the Winter Soldier, because I feel like this, I think Sebastian Stan, this is his best performance as, um, as the Winter Soldier. I think this was, just showing what he is as an actor and like really show uh, Bucky as a character. And I, I think I, I love his stuff the most. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, but anything else you want to talk about Sam and go to Bucky? <laughs> um, I mean, it's, I loved that opening action sequence. I thought it was really cool, especially yes. just like showing off Sam using his suit. Yeah. Uh, in like new and interesting ways. Yeah, um, um, I love the more uh, use of the wet wing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, red wing. I yeah, I really I, only saw that in that one scene in Civil War. So. Yeah, so I really appreciate they use more of that, and so that was really cool. And and also speaking of the that Falcon uh, opening scene, I love that we brought back uh, the um, Broadrack Leaper. Yeah. And so that was very right. cool. Yeah, thank you. And it was really cool to connect that to Winter Soldier again. So, um, and and actually have a recurring villain coming back, you know? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and so I'm very happy he's back. And, you know, I was so happy he didn't die. <laughs> I, I almost, I almost blink and I thought, oh my God, you didn't kill him. You know, because one of the action scenes, the, the helicopters exploded. I was right, like, right, and he jumps out. 
yeah, yeah. yeah he jumped out and I, I was so happy. <laughs> um, uh, oh, and and during this scene, we get introduced another character, uh, Joaquin uh, Torres. Torres. What do you think yeah. about him? Um, yeah, I, I, he was all right. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it could be a good like sidekick for Sam. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Joaquin, he's a comic book character I didn't know. He, he becomes yeah. like, you know, the new Vulcan, you know, after uh, Sam takes over to Captain America. So it was very cool to see him in this show. So mm -hmm. that was very good. Um, yeah, I like him so far. I think he is a very interesting character. I like how he like, gives us like a point of view of what happened after that five years gap, you know, with the blip. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, also introducing us the uh, somewhat the main villains like the Flag Smashers, and so, so that was very good. Uh, yeah, and I like how, um, how we use the real world and mix it to comic book stuff. So I really like that. So like you know, mm -hmm. uh, the terrorist group that uh, Sam has to beat was uh, LAF, and then. We've got new terrorist group they're gonna face the flag smashers so that's really cool to see mm -hmm. that combine and the uh, mcu um okay and then um while we're with sam like um it was really cool to see like his like normal life like mm -hmm. you know seeing his cousin uh, uh his, his uh, sister yeah his sister and his nephews it was really interesting that part was probably my favorite thing. I, I like how the yeah. small intimate um, scenes with Bucky and then separate, you know, with Sam mm -hmm. was very cool and, and very nice to see. And like, yeah, I agree. and, and I, I really enjoy, um, like, it, I was really sad for uh, Sam's sister, you know, like, um, and, and seeing a perspective of someone that, you know, didn't, um, you know, um, uh, has a uh, disappear because mm -hmm. of the blip, and you know, and, and and you know, despite Sam being famous, you know, he too is struggling to help because you know, it, it, it was it was very interesting. It was really world, um, really will uh, world stuff, mm -hmm. and in this action pack, um, um, uh, you know, uh, super spy show, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and then of course the banker was funny, but I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah so, I, I like, um, they made everything feel like grounded. Yeah. Which was cool. Yeah. Um, but then, and it helped us to tell you that this is a different kind of show over one division. So, so that was very important. Um, okay. Uh, was there anything else to talk about Sam's like side of the story? I think. Um, I mean, you want to talk about more of the Flax Masters and... Yeah, we could get into that. Yeah, so, um, so you know, Joaquin, you know, at the beginning of the episode, you know, talked to Sam about what happened in five years, and then there's a couple, shows him the symbol of the Flax Masters that they're going to be like the main antagonists of the show. And uh, it was, yeah, it was very cool to see uh, when jo Joaquin went to this, like, uh, almost like Pokemon Go thing where everyone's in their phones. <laughs> yeah. And, and and then right away it was very cool to see like this this terrorist group like stealing something that we don't know yet. Um and then seeing everyone uh like uh masquerade to you know distract the cops and so that's really cool. And uh, I mean and he had super strength. It was crazy. Um a very incredible scene to show how dangerous this group could be. And so mm -hmm. that was really cool that they set that up very right away. So, um, and, uh, and I like their mask. Uh, their design is pretty good. Yeah. It's a good, like, uh, it's very, like, nondescript and, like, mm -hmm. simple, which is good for, like, a, internet-based terrorist organization like you know yeah it seems realistic yeah um yeah i'm, I'm very curious i i like the 
uh, you know, like their initials, like their hands covering the world. Mm -hmm. I, I really like that, like their that their logo as a Tatus group. So um, I'm I'm very fascinated about this new like version of Flag Smasher, you know. And mm -hmm. so um, I'm very excited about that. So um, but I think that's uh, and then you know after um, towards the end of the episode, you know, we got to. Um, we're saving the buggy stuff because <laughs> the buggy stuff is very interesting. Um, so, the, you know, towards the end of Sam's, you know, story, you know, he talks to Joaquin and he, um, there was a line that was interesting that he said, like, you don't think who he, um, what was the line? Like, you don't think is like either Bucky and they think that was Bucky, but it was no way that was Bucky I, or someone else. I, that When they were thinking that guy that, almost kill Joaquin because he had like, that super strength and, yeah. and 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 so it's really interesting to see uh, where that leads but then Sam's sister comes in and show her show him the you know the breaking news of this new hero that this governor we saw briefly in the, mm -hmm. the Smithsonian opening and we see our first introduction to a uh, US agent played by um uh, Wyatt Russell, I think mm -hmm. that was his name. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, Kurt Russell's son. Yeah, Kurt Russell's son, who was also in the MCU as well. Who, well, he was Eagle, but he died <laughs> in Volume Two. Um, so, yeah, which I totally forgot. <laughs> I, it's funny how both of them are now in the MCU. Yeah. Um, and so, and then you know, of course, um, Wilson was very disappointed, and as we discuss. Well, you know, that it was frustrating, but he, he, he kind of knew that was going to happen, right? Like, mm -hmm. that they were not going to let that shield rest, you know, they, you know, you know what happened. Yeah. So, so it was very interesting, and, you know, and I felt sad for, uh, for uh, Sam in that scene. So, um, so then now we can get into kind of like the, the, the big, I think my favorite part about this uh, pilot was Bucky. It was very cool to see, you know, a uh, flashback of, of the Winter Soldier. And it was very interesting. Like at first you didn't know what that flash um, flashback was about. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you get into his side of the story, you, you kind of realize, oh, so he's the kid that, that oh, like I say it like, the friend of the Chinese guy that Bucky is friending with is the father of that son he killed. So, <clears throat> and so that was very interesting. So what, what do you think about Bucky and this whole pilot? <clears throat> yeah, I, I, like I said before, I like um, diving into his like trauma and giving him a little more depth. Um, I, I really like the storyline with um, the old man. Um, oh man, that that scene where he like, I, I think he was going to like confess to him that he's yes. the one that killed his son, and then he like saw the the picture. shrine. Yeah. Oh man, that was. It was very deep. It was, yeah, it was um, it cut deep. Yeah, it's um, kind of hard to watch, but it's really good. Really yeah, good and 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 that moment, uh, yeah, Spazistan performance really conveyed that scene. Mm -hmm. he, he really wanted to tell, but he couldn't because he didn't want to hurt this old man's feelings. You know, mm -hmm. I, and, and yeah, I totally agree. It was really heartbreaking. Um, uh, and his um, we got the introduction of the therapist, and mm -hmm. I, I that scene was very very cool, very interesting to learn um, Bucky right now, his like, his pulse, you know, Hydra controlling, you know, like uh, brainwashing and seeing him being himself again. Mm -hmm. and, and also the running joke of the book, you know, <laughs> uh, which I love. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. And I, I, it was pretty funny. And of course we're gonna see her again um, soon. Right, so there's that scene in there. In the trailer, the trailer yeah. oh my god, I love that. It's like stop it. <laughs> um, 
it, so it was really interesting seeing it. and uh it was very cool to see like bucky like you know like it was interesting see, like comparing the flashback and then comparing to that like scene of him trying to capture that um shaggy center that was mm -hmm. working with hydra that was very cool and like it and it, it, it almost how much a little bit of like how he did to the starch, but differently. Of course, he didn't kill. And I guess he's not allowed to hurt them anymore. Exactly. And so it was very interesting. Um, and another small detail I really like in the Bucky um, storyline is the, the notebook. I love how he's doing the notebook thing, just like how um, Cap did in the you know the Winter Soldier film. Mm -hmm. And so that was very cool. And I like how um was it the um i think the left side you see the old man was the number one top of the list and and, and that was really, really cool to to see that he's trying to like make amends with the the, the, the chinese father so um so everything about bucky storyline was very interesting and deep mm -hmm. and it was like the most serious of of this pilot you know yeah um, and uh, it was very cool to see um, uh, him dating. What was funny? <laughs> playing yeah, battleship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> battleship. Uh, and uh, oh my god, I love the, the the this other gag of him trying to stop the cat. Um, what do you call that the the the, like the hand thing, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, um, I, 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 I don't know what you call that. Um, uh, well, hold on, hold on. I think uh, something. It's just uh, lucky cats. Yeah, thank you. The the lucky cats. And so, uh, that was a funny gag, and I I, I love, like, I, you know, sometimes characters will be like so aggressive to stopping it. I like how, um, Bucky just just slowly just went to it and tried to stop it. Mm -hmm. And I love that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it was really cool. Um, and then um, this episode was interesting to hearing about Captain America. And like, so now apparently the world, like the Russo brothers say he died. Well, like the, I thought the minion thinks that Cap died, but doesn't seem like they don't believe that. They think he's still alive and he's in this funny, like, like they're making like a conspiracy. Yeah, there's tons of conspiracy theories about yeah. where Steve Rogers went. Yeah, and, yeah and, I love that. Yeah, and of course they mentioned the circuit base on the moon, which was pretty <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, so you think that would be like a major plot point? Or like, like um, what, what do you think about that. I, I think uh, I, I mean I could see like conspiratorial thinking playing a role. Um, mm. I I don't think there's going to be a face on the moon. Um, no, no, no. But I mean, conspiracies are like really big, um, like terrorists will use like conspiracy theories online to kind of like draw people toward their ideology mm, um, okay I, so I, I could see that playing a role but I'm really looking forward to all of the like um, like well just the way that the series is going to handle like terrorism and racial issues um, yeah I think it's going to be really interesting. Yeah, it, it, it will be very interesting. I think we got that a little bit with WandaVision and how they handle, you know, like, well, different actually um, things as well. You know, they were talking about mental health. And here, you know, we're right. seeing, you know, uh, PSD with Bucky. So, like, it's interesting to compare him to Wanda now because mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're not similar, but, like, it, there's, like, in-stream parallels between Bucky and yeah, Wanda. They both have yeah. Really deep trauma now. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. And then Sam, like I can think I could I compare him to like Monica and how 
how he too, you know, was, you know, blip from Thanos snap, right? Mm -hmm. And like seeing how he comes back and adjusts to this new world order, you know, yeah. as this title, you know, is called. And like he too, you know, is, you know, he didn't lose anyone. I, I think his parents passed away prior to this, you know, um, Infinity War events, right? Yeah, I think and, so. Yeah, and so, but like he, you know, doesn't understand the struggles that the people that was still alive is mm -hmm. something he needs to kind of understand, you know. <laughs> and so that was very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in how they handle like all this, the racial issues and the um, terrorist kind of things with the villains. Um, mm -hmm. And also like, you know, government um, uh, with uh, propaganda yeah you know, with u.s agent yeah which is going to be very interesting yeah the and, announcement of like the new captain america felt very um there's a lot of like nationalistic mm -hmm. language that made yes. me really uncomfortable uh and i'm <laughs> excited <laughs> to see like how they're gonna handle that um, um well i mean it, it will show like like you know you it, and like because u.s agent is kind of like an anti-hero they yeah. were kind of like he's he's doing this for like normal reasons, but then he will kind of fall into the dark side a little bit. Yeah, so, and, you like, know. Um, I think the reason that Captain America never feels like it's um, beating you over the head with his like patriotism is because he embodies like American values rather than just being like a force of the US government, whereas US agent yeah. is just like, I'm gonna do what the government tells me to do. Um, and that's yeah. like way scarier. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, the I mean, it's name. like a weapon instead yeah. of the symbol being like- Symbol. Fighting, like something that fights for the positive aspects of the country. Yeah, um, I mean, it's interesting he's holding the shield, but like, I mean, like, like Captain America does use a gun in World War II, but like, yeah. from Avengers onwards, he just used a shield, where right. if you see the U.S. agent, like, his name is U.S. agent, that doesn't sound like America, uh, like, like, right. or fighting for the people of the yeah, U.S. Yeah, he's just fighting, like, as a soldier for the government. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, and where, you know, look at Captain America, he, you know, he's more of that, like, fighting for the people. And, like, he, you know, is using the shield for defense, right? Like, the reason he doesn't hold a gun is, like, he doesn't want to show he's, like, a conqueror. Which right. is something that, you know, Hydra uses as, and, like, what, you know, every side of, our, of the nation uses as weapons, right? You know, uh, where Captain America's weapon is, is a shield, but like it's mostly for defense. And so, so yeah, I, I totally agree with what you're saying. Um, and then, uh, what was the, um, there's a lot, of, there was a lot of things they pack in this episode. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else that we need to do. Uh, I guess, um, uh, so I I guess I think we pretty much cover it. Will <laughs> um, this was a fifty minute plot and they got a lot of things done right away, which is cool. Yeah. Um. Uh. Any last things you want to say about this pilot? Um. I mean, I'm like, just uh, I'm excited for what's coming next. I'm yeah. excited for uh, Zemo to show up. Yes, I'm excited for that too. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm excited for that. And then I'm excited to see Sharon Carter, um, see where she fits in this whole mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so I mean, I'm also excited for seeing more Bucky and see where his storyline comes. Because, you know, he has to make amends and then he has to face Zemo, which, mm -hmm. you know, he is the one that you know, force the Winter Soldier to be in this, you know, conspiracy plot of, you know, the Avengers, you know, breaking apart and, you know, those, 
you know, the, the death of um, Black Panther's father, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's it's all going to be interesting to see where all this goes. Um, I I guess um, I mean I like one division with his theories, you know, like you know, with respecting the theories. Um, what, what do you think? Um, with the setup, like from now to episode six, like what do you think? What's the main goal for the show? I guess. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, the producers mentioned that they're going to set up, tr this show is going to set up the three uh, movies or shows that's coming up. Uh, by the way, this is setting up uh, on rewards, as you yep. mentioned before. Um, you know, uh, as, you know, the Falcon is, is dealing the aftermath of his mentor leaving, mm -hmm. Rhodey is, you know, as well, is dealing the problem after Tony Stark is dead. He's now to take up the mantle of, you know, because in the comics, you know, Rhodey first became Iron Man before he got into the War Machine, um, you know, mantle. And so I'm very curious to see how much of a role uh, Rhodey is going to be in this show. And so um, I'd be very excited to see him working with Sam and, and uh, the Winter Soldier. That'd be very cool seeing. Yeah, yeah I hope you is in more than just this episode yeah um i hope so too because uh, i like Rhodey. i think he's a great character in this in this uh universe and uh you know and i'm very excited for him having his own show and so i think the show will like give a little more detail on his character than related movies have done you know because he's been mostly like a military guy and uh you know he has his funny moments uh <laughs> You know, uh, War Machine rocks and the Cop mm -hmm. Door <laughs> and Iron <Man> 3. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I'm very curious about that. I'm, I'm very curious about um, Sam and his sister's relationship and like mm -hmm. how, like, like how, like, how that storyline will be finished, you know? So, um, but yeah, so, um, so far this pilot was a good. You know, start. I think they did it the right way, so that's good. So, thank you so much, Will, for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, and uh, this was a good pilot. Um, so I'm very excited for next Friday, and I think this was a um very good uh, start for the next uh, six weeks, right? For mm -hmm. until uh, Black Widow. So this is just a good uh, a good counterpart for Black Widow, I could say. Uh, so. So now for ado, everyone, thank you for listening to this podcast. Me and Will will be back for episode two of The Falcon and the One Soldier. And so as as always, hit that subscribe button and see you guys soon.